What's going on everyone? So at the time of recording this, the second week of the Cursed Sales event actually just dropped about an hour ago. So in this video, I just want to cover some of the new stuff they've added in this second week and how to actually complete them because the ships are different this time around. Now, just do keep in mind that I did talk a lot about the Curse Sales event in my first video that I released, so do check that out if you want some more information. But anyway, let's get into the video. So what they've done this week, they've actually kicked out some of the older ships they've had and they've actually replaced it with three new ships. Now, these ships are the Enslaving Chain, the Foul Stride, and the Treacherous Bounty. Now, these ships actually have different cursed cannonballs as compared to last week. For example, the Treacherous Bounty actually locks your supplies so you can't get any wooden planks cannibals or bananas from your barrels. Now for the sake of this video I'm not actually going to explain what all the cursed cannibals do. I believe you should probably go out there for yourself and experience it so you can enjoy this a hell of a lot more. Alright so getting back on track with the video before I tangent off too far. Now to summon these ships you just do essentially the same thing you've done as the previous week. The only thing that actually changes is the times of course and the actual contents of the ships that spawn. Now what they've also done is you can see all this in the patch notes which I'm sure you can find on their website if you want to go have a look more in detail about what's come out. Now they've actually increased the time limit in general with this new event. So by that I mean if you you get sunk and you need to come back to the ship you've actually got more time before the round resets and you have to restart and there's actually a longer period of time before when the game actually ends and a new one starts so when you're collecting your loot but anyway as i said for more information please go to their website now let's move on to the tips and tricks part of this video so there's a few things i actually want to say that i've found out from the previous event now these are actually essentially tips that i found in the previous week that I haven't quite shared yet so i just want to share them now but i'm sure i will be releasing more tips soon so feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications if you want to be some of the first people to actually see this now just to actually go through them quickly to save you guys time because i'm sure the last thing you want to do is watch videos and you just want to get out there and play so essentially my big tip is this do actually use buckets of water to sink their ship it is extremely effective as you can see by the video it is entirely possible to sink their ship just by throwing buckets of water on there so say if you get a hole in your ship please definitely keep that water in your bucket and throw it on their ship next time you visit their ship as of now they still actually don't know how to bucket water then you know how to repair so it's pretty good and moving on from that another thing i'd highly suggest is when you're actually attacking him run in with a pistol and a cutlass the reason i say a pistol and a cutlass because it allows for more maneuverability and lightweight speed because I know it is quite easy to get cornered and trapped when you're on those ships. Now actually just quickly I do want to take a minute just to thank everyone for the support I've been having recently. Now I'm sure if you subscribe you already know this and you've heard me say this a thousand times but I just want to say it for the new visitors. Every time there's a new Sea of Thieves update that comes out I'm actually the first person to release on how to complete the events and just recently when the Curse Hours event came out I actually had a website that picked up my video and it just brought in so much traffic and just seeing so much community input coming together to the videos and also joining my Discord is just absolutely insane so I thank you guys so much for that. Now if you're subscribed and you're in the Discord I'm actually fairly sure you've probably seen one of my recent announcements and that was essentially me talking about my music and how I've just done a little poll to see if anyone wants to hear my music or just stick it to Sea of Thieves and actually the background music in this video is actually my own music so I'll be linking that right down below if you want to follow my music and find everything I do and just get more personal with me feel free to go follow that and yeah now moving on to my final tip of the video so if you've made it this far please feel free to leave a like and show your support but anyway what you're going to want to do is always form an alliance I know I've said this before but I just want to really drill that point in because it's quite important if you're not playing on a galleon and you're playing on a brigantine or a sloop I'd highly suggest forming an alliance because no matter what happens if you stay in that alliance you're always going to get half of what the other person sells and it's just a really good little feature that added into the game and I'm really glad they did so just don't be too freaked out if someone goes to form an alliance with you of course there are people that do actually kill you and take your stuff right at the end and I don't really have any tips to sort of work out how to avoid that now I'm sure you could probably work out if the people you're alliance with are actually going to backstab you or not but just do be cautious when you do that now if you don't want to form an alliance I just want to say that I do actually have a discord and there's over a thousand people in that discord at the time of recording this so i guarantee you'll probably always be able to find a crew if you actually want to play with them and you need people so if you want a crew just please go down to that discord and just mingle and just communicate and i'm sure people want to play with you and if you even see me in the chat feel free to talk to me and i'll i'll definitely reply i mean i love reading all the comments and everything that goes on the discord it just makes me really happy and we've got some really awesome admins that keep the chat nice and friendly and safe so if you want to do that feel free to check that out okay so i'm essentially going to wrap up the video here because i've essentially said everything i possibly can at this current point in time but if you do want to know more about these new events and how to complete the events within the first hour upon release please do subscribe and hit the notification because as i said i've always been the first person to release them and if you want to know specifically more things about the curse sales event i guarantee i'll be posting more videos about this so again do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be the first people to see it and yeah so if you've enjoyed please feel free to leave a like as i said earlier in the video my music's down below my discord's down below and just all of my socials are down below if you want to get connecting with me and yeah i thank you guys for all the support recently and i'm really happy to see this channel growing and i'll see you guys in the next video.